Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to Magdalene's Wish 3311. And I am recording to you tonight, guided by Mother Mary today. She has been really um, strong with me today uh, with message. I had pulled a card for my um, uh, Facebook spiritual group called Awaken Your Body and Soul. And I pulled a card for the group and then I pulled a card for myself. And this card was all about um, being a divine vessel for channeling. And I just, my whole body just got these chills. And I thought, oh my goodness. And I've channeled Mother Mary before. Um, she's come to me before. I have a, a direct connection with her, um, with my twin flame and I actually. Um, and anyway, so I connected with her energy. I felt her energy come in quite intensely, quite profoundly, intense love. And if anybody that's ever connected with her, they know she is just a very motherly, loving, nurturing energy. And she's just um, very noticeable. It's very distinctive energy um, when she comes in. And it's just, I'm honored to, you know, to be, a, to connect with her. And she has a message that I'm here to share. And I'm also going to be sharing um, a reading she's asked me to do. And this message is for collective divine feminine and masculines together. And it is for specifically for unions. So um, she asked me to channel a message for unions um, that she had a very important message to share. So I'm going to read this channeled message first. Um, and then I will get into the reading and the reading is really incredible. It's really beautiful. Um, and I have pulled um, from a few different decks of cards. Um, no tarot cards today. Um, but a couple of different decks of cards, including the Mother Mary deck. Um, I will read from those cards and um, just a heads up that's from the Atlanta Fairchild Mother Mary deck and it's absolutely beautiful messages. And there's one for collective, one for masculine, one for feminine, and one for outcome. Um, they're a little bit lengthy, so I'm going to try to get through this with clarity, but I also don't want to chop off anything that um, I feel is significant. So just uh, hang with me for the message because it all is incredible. I think it's going to be worth it. So without further ado, here we go. I'm going to read this channeled message first, okay? And I channeled this this afternoon today um, on the September 17th, 2018. Uh, my dearest twin souls and flames, I wish to bring you a message of divine grace. The freedom of your willpower has gotten out of hand and is causing much interference with divine unions. The lack of understanding of the role of divine, of the role that divine plays in sacred unions must be dissolved. You must trust the divine abilities and a willingness to help bring all unions into form, for we would not forsake you of such a gift. Do you have such little faith in our ability to see that these unions will manifest? We do not wish you pain and suffering on this twin flame journey, but wish to impart the importance of sacred trust and divine grace that everything at, everything is as it is meant to be at this moment. Do you not judge yourself, your beloved, or your journey? As all things play out for the greater good for all. There will be a time for unions to take place and divine is overseeing each and every union and path towards union. Place full trust and faith in us. Let go of control, doubt, and fear that it will not come to fruition. Be prepared for extraordinary miracles to take place on your journey. Do not judge yourselves or your beloved for any actions, words spoken, or choices. For each action and word has a greater purpose than the external appearance. My beloveds, trust in yourself and the love of your, that your beloved holds for you. For it is the one true love that cannot be broken. Remember this, this at times of darkness. Remember this at times of darkness or when you feel like you are losing hope and faith. Return to these words and ask me or your guides to help give you your faith that all is meant to be and all will work out for the greater good of all. No one soul will be left out or hurt, but one must remember the journey is not without its share of challenges. Yet know these challenges and illusions of roadblocks have a purpose. 
So view them as sacred and part of the journey. Embrace every step of the journey, for each step is a divine gift. Your Holy Mother wishes to bestow her blessings and love onto you and hold you in my sacred heart. We are near the finish line. So finish. So please, we are near the finish line. So please do not give up or lose faith. We wish you to know how loved you are and cherished in the hearts of heaven. The divine masculines know in their hearts what is the right path for them to take and are taking steps so that they may take that so that they may step into their truth with divine grace. The divine masculines want you to know that they know their truth and are finding their voice for which to speak it. They are ready to explode out of the gate. The love their divine feminine has sent them has given them much strength and courage to help them see the divine within themselves and your unconditional love for them is helping them to step forward without fear. For without your love for them, they would remain in a state of confusion. Divine feminines, I urge you to stay in a place of unconditional love for your masculines and hold a state of grace and devotion to your sacred union. This does not mean to place attachments upon your masculines or how the unions will unfold, but to see the greater picture from your hearts. For some of your unions will be of purely energetic nature and focused solely on mission and service to others, as an intimate partnership is not possible due to circumstances that cannot be changed. And side note, what she kind of meant by that was the rare cases where one twin's on the other side of the veil at this time for those cases. For those who it is, maybe I know of one that is a grandmother, grandchild. So obviously, you know, they're limited and there's some that are just really extreme differences in age. So there's a handful that are just kind of the outliers. So, you know, um, that's a small percentage of them. So just kind of a little side note there. Um, while most unions, while most other unions will both be mission partnerships and romantic partnerships, please know each has their own divine timing and please trust in this timing. Your mother, Mary, thank you. And so it is. So that is the message I channeled from her today. Um, and then she asked me to do a reading with this and I finished the reading and my dog barked and I went to let her outside and this is really cool and I think a lot of you guys can relate to this I went to let her outside as soon as I opened the door my neighbor was outside on the patio and I opened the door right at 9 48 and 9 48 um, p.m. is a specific number that I sync to with my masculine and I thought this, there was a song playing and it was Corey Hart, Never Surrender. And as soon as I opened the door, the lyric that came out and it was kind of blasting kind of loud. It was um, just a little more time is all we're asking for. And my heart was just beating and I thought, oh my goodness, this is a message. This is a clear message. Holy cow. And it was right before I came in to record this. Um, so... I came back in and I, I looked at the lyrics and I sat with it and this is a collect this is um, not only from my masculine but it's also for the collective feminines from the collective masculine so divine feminines I'm gonna read this to you the lyrics of the song called never surrender and I just want to side note this never surrender um, I know we keep being told to surrender yes surrender in the process meaning trust the meaning of the word surrender in this song is to never give up. So I'm going to read the lyrics of this and then I'm going to get into the reading because it's exciting. Okay, Never Surrender by Corey Hart. Just a little more time is all we're asking for. Because just a little more time could open closing doors. Just a little uncertainty can bring you down and nobody wants to know you know, know you now. Nobody wants to show you how. So if you're lost and on your own, you can never surrender. And if your path won't lead you home, you can never surrender. And when the night is cold and dark, you can see, you can see light. Because no one can take away your right to fight and never surrender. With a little perseverance, you can get things done without the blind adherence that has conquered some. And nobody wants to know you now, and nobody wants to show you how. 
So if you're lost and on your own, you can never surrender. And if your path won't lead you home, you can never surrender. And when the night is cold and dark, you can see, you can see light. Because no one can take away your right to fight and never surrender. Never surrender. Never give up. Know that your light is always there. Know that your light can bring the masculine home. Keep shining your light because it's our light that really ignites and inspires um, the masculines and gives them courage. Even if they're not consciously aware of it in the 3D world, trust me, this is what will bring them home is our light. So stay positive, stay high vibe as much as you can, Divine Feminines. Keep your light shining bright because this is what really helps the masculines and they really want you to know. Don't give up. Trust. They're just asking for a little bit more time. So just trust in the timing. And I'm not kidding you. I opened the door and I heard never surrender. Just a little more time is all we're asking for. And I was like, it just hit me. I'm like, oh my goodness. So the timing, divine timing in, in like incredible ways. So I love it. All right. I'm just going to have a sip of water. And we're going to jump into the reading. So I started with the first card that jumped up. I used the Doreen Virtue Romance Angels. And these um, Mother Mary picked the decks of cards I used. So I used Romance Angels and then uh, Energy Oracle by uh, Sandra Ann Taylor, and then Mother Mary's deck by Lana Fairchild, and then I have, what's the one, Whispers of Love is my final one. So we've got four decks. Um, the first cards that came up actually ended up being Joined Energies, and they came up together, and they're both very similar. We've got Free Yourself, so if you can see that, and then we have, sorry, I'm just trying to get used to using my computer, um, Release Your X. So Free Yourself and Release Your X. If you can see those two messages. Um, so Free Yourself, um, it's time to take back control of your life. So this is for both, feminines and masculines, okay? And the message that came through with this is several things. It's about freeing yourself from behaviors, codependency, lack of trust, um, expectations, on timing, on outcome, on the whole process, on how it's going to happen. Um, free yourself of um, the distractions of the matrix. They're really asking us to unplug from... Um, things that just don't serve us, that bring our vibration down, you know, so anything that brings a vibration down, just if it's relationships, anything, just try to step back and protect yourself and keep your vibration up, stay in a place of love and trust and keep your light up. Um, for those that are in relationship, karmic relationships, um, even family relationships, work relationships, friendships, any type of relationship that's bringing you down, that is not for your highest good, that is stopping or holding you back on your path to your mission, um, not even necessarily for union, but for your mission and what is the best thing for you, um, for your path. We are each sovereign beings and nobody is bound to anybody, nobody. Even when twin flames come into union, our relationships are gonna be different. We're retemplating relationships and it, it's not gonna be, you know how we say, my boyfriend or my husband or my wife or my girlfriend and it's got this possessiveness of it using the word my and we really have to drop that we really have to drop that persona and approach and the way that we look at things um, because we're all sovereign even when we come into union it's going to be we're two independent beings with um, you know, our own free will and our own um, path. And there's going to be a lot of parallels. There's going to be a lot of unity, but there's also going to be trust and independence. So it's going to be a lot of interdependence. So it's a lot of letting go of the codependence, control, letting go of control, letting go of how it's going to work. Um, and then letting go of relationships. You know, karmic relationships are, they have soul contracts and those soul contracts have expired. And some are kind of fighting that. And some are maybe not quite expired yet, but are they're kind of winding down. You know, school's almost out. 
and when schools, you know, when you're about to graduate, you don't stay in school, you graduate and you move on. So, you know, each relationship has a purpose and, and it's not a, a bad thing. Um, when they have met all of the needs and lessons have been learned in karmic relationships, then that has served its purpose and it's time to love it and step back from that and 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 do it in a very very loving way you know divine doesn't want you to be you know and I don't believe anybody would anyway to just um, be running away and abandoning people because that's not what we do as twin flames we do things with love um, but it's also about self-love and understanding each person is a sovereign being um, with free will um, and that so that's one that message that came through um, from divine um, and the release your ex is also about letting go of the past it is about um, this card here it's also about clearing energies um, release energies release attachments release um, it says here the time has come to clear your energies so you know a lot of times we can be holding on to negative energies um, karmic cords from the past it may be that you need karmic cords being cut um, there's a lot of energy work involved with a twin flame unions a lot and if you haven't worked with an energy worker then that might be something that's really important to help um, for um, the other thing that came up collectively is the heart chakra so this message is that we are both feeling in our hearts the connection we're both feeling each other in each other's hearts. We're both having a lot of heart expansion. And this is Archangel um, Raphael, the green. Can you see that okay? Um, and so there's a lot of heart connection, a lot of heart activation. We're both sensing and feeling each other in our heart spaces. Um, and then quite interestingly, the card that came up with free yourself and release your ex is contract in reverse and I'm just going to read a smidgen of this book because they asked me to read just a few not all of the message but just a part of it um, the contract card reversed indicates the ending of a previous connection um, and it also says I'm not going to read all of it because I was just part of it I was guided this card reversed um, cautions you not to become desperate your needy, urgent energy could actually postpone the desired outcome even more. Continue to take action, even if it's in another direction, and your patient resolve will pay off. If the breakup of relationship is involved, always remember that you deserve to be honored. Open your heart and your life to be life to the person who is willing to be fully present and loving. That person is waiting to commit to your own self-honoring heart. So, holy cow, right? Like that's, if that's not perfect, and, and if you look, this card, she's got a contract, you know, and then this, it's contract. So these came up together. So that's a crazy powerful message. Um, and then the, another Mary card that came up with it is Our Lady. Sorry, I'm trying to have no glare. Um, Our Lady of Holy Fire and this has let you connect with that for a moment sorry these cards are quite shiny um, I'm gonna read you the message in this book and it's a gorgeous message so yay um, the Holy Fire Our Lady of Holy Fire to live is to burn to grow and to ignite the heart and soul with passionate devotion to higher purpose I ask you to honor me even when it seems like what you love is burning away or what you have believed in is failing you, I ask you to remain open to me even if you are in shock, denial, or feel betrayed or broken. To live with an open heart is for brave souls that love me and are capable of loving the world. I bring you holy fire. It burns through me as spiritual passion and ignites now as ignites now in you also, my child. You are to receive this fire now and set the heart of the world aflame. How appropriate, twin flames, and it's talking about flames. When we don't have spiritual passion in our heart, we fall in love with empty substitutes. We might yearn for fantasy relationship that never quite manifests, 
or it does for a short time before revealing itself to be less than substantial. Or perhaps we yearn for a great job with a great income only to find that even if we achieve this, there is still a space in our hearts that is not satisfied by what we have attained. To feel truly connected to our own divine destiny, we have to be willing to allow our hearts to burn for something greater than our individual needs and wants. It is not comfortable to do this, but it is fulfilling in a way that cannot be attained by any other method. And again, this is a collective card for both masculines and feminines. Um, it is not bad to have individual needs and wants, of course. We cannot quench another's thirst if our cup is broken. It cannot sustain nourishing liquid for us, let alone for anyone else. Yet the oracle of Our Lady Holy Fire speaks to us of a passion for the divine coming into our hearts, which will help heal us and empower us the love to love the world, allowing Divine Mother to flow through us and assist our world, which is in the midst of rebirth right now. So it's really talking about the purpose of, of our missions, right? That we're here to help the world and there's something a lot bigger than just our own personal wants and needs. Um, but because our mission is so important, we have to really make sure that our cup is healed and that we are healing and doing mission and service for other from a full cup. And if you're in any type of a bad relationship or even a relationship that's not fulfilling where you're giving, giving, giving and your cup is empty um, or others are just draining you or breaking your cup, then, you know, your your mission is really what is important. And you, you know, you just got to take that. Think about that. The holy fire in our hearts is what makes us want to grow spiritually. We cannot help but be intrigued by it, feel drawn to it, compelled to work at it, and keep going even when it gets tough or seems downright impossible. It is what makes us want to contribute something helpful to the world, to become empowered and truthful in how we live, to want to live with goodwill and genuine desire that all, will, all beings become happy and free. The holy fire is in the heart that fuels us when we are dark in dark, challenging times in our lives, when we force ourselves through the strength of our inner will to reach towards the divine for help rather than collapsing in defeat or drowning in feelings of rejection and abandonment. Our Lady Holy Fire is the patron protector of the mystical soul, the soul that yearns to know the divine connect in the real nourishing palpable way. Um... If you have been feeling that your faith has been wavering or finding it difficult to trust that the situation will work out or doubting yourself, fearing that you are not honoring your inner wisdom in a particular situation, Our Lady comes to you with comfort. She reinforces your spiritual strength now. She reminds you now of the unlimited divine resources you have access to through her grace. She reminds us to love that she reminds you that to love is to burn in a spiritual fire for the divine and that this fire is in your heart ignited she reminds you that you are her child yes but you are a living divine flame filled with her power and glory and nothing shall subdue your light or spirit you are twin flames you are divine flames you are um twin souls and they burn best when they're together you know they're meant to be together. If you are finding it difficult to relate to this message, you are being asked to loosen your grip on a situation that you are trying to hold on to. Let it burn in the holy fire of the mother and know that what emerges from the situation will be far superior and far, far more suitable for all concerned. Allowing it to burn means being completely honest, not hiding yourself or your true feelings. It means giving up the doubt and daring to believe that you don't uh, have to be afraid if you don't feel ready to do this quite yet that is fine you will get to the place at the right time and in the right way trust her trust yourself um, and then she gives a healing like she does at the end of all of hers so holy cow right all right moving on that's amazing divine masculine in his head space we've got This could be the one. You're already, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So they're really thinking in their headspace that, um, you know, 
they're really thinking about their divine feminines and you know what maybe this person really is the right person for me they're just they're just they're thinking about the connection they're thinking about the um the past you know whatever past that you have had together um any memories um and they're just feeling the energy in their hearts now their hearts are opening up and they're feeling our energy and they're really thinking that you know what maybe they're looking at the qualities and they're kind of you know how masculines are in their head about the um, logical side of stuff and um, they're really just thinking that okay maybe she really is the one um, and they're seeing things differently and this card came up with it which is the sixth chakra um, the third eye and this is really about seeing the spiritual connection um, it says Archangel Metatron on it and it's really and it's just I'll hold it up longer because it's such a pretty card um, it's really about the spiritual connection um, and they're seeing the spiritual connection they're seeing the relationship in a different um, perspective in a different light um, they're seeing the sacredness of it um, they're seeing the divinity of it um, and that this relationship supersedes all others um, the connection I shouldn't even say relationship um, the connection you know the twin soul connection it just is unlike anything else um, and that there's this spiritual bond um, on a soul level that is unlike anything else and they're really seeking their away they're really going through this awakening and they're really seeking deeper meaning and a deeper spiritual passion um, and spiritual meaning in their life and they want a relationship that has that spiritual um, soulful connection that's not just of a lower chakra type you know um, basic you know needs but of a higher on a higher spiritual plane and they're looking at things differently they're seeing things differently um, divine is guiding them and showing them things and and just through signs and messages they're seeing synchronicities and they're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities and it's just it's the synchronicities are coming and coming in and these messages are coming in and that keep reminding them of their feminine and they're like wow you know it's just I can't ignore it I just can't ignore it um, the heart space so this came up deception and if you notice they're wearing masks and what came through with this card is that they've been wearing a mask and they've had blockages in their heart and they have really been blocking and ignoring the um, what they feel in their heart towards their feminine um, and they know it's them they know that the feminine has been true and they know that they have been the ones kind of lying to themselves and deceiving to themselves and they also know and they feel bad that they've been deceiving their um, feminines um, because they haven't been true they haven't been speaking from the heart they haven't been honest with themselves and they haven't been honest with their feminines about what they feel and sometimes they i don't even think that they know what they feel because they've had on this mask and they it's going to take their this mask coming off and i think this mask is starting to come off for the collective for so they can tap into what they really feel um so don't judge by what you see like in the 3d 3d world um, because they're you know they need to really work up a lot of courage to come out and say what they're feeling um, they feel very vulnerable right now and that's why they're wearing this mask is because they feel so vulnerable um, what came up for them for the heart is this card healer of the ages um, so this is about heart healing they're getting a lot of healing in their heart um, they're, they're, um, there's a lot of healing occurring in their heart space but the other thing is if you look at this um, and this is divine the message in this card in the book was about that um, it um, the message when I was reading in the book was also about blockages so back to blockages right they've had blockages they've been blocking things off they have had a shield They've been shielding their heart. They, they've been in denial. They're like, I don't want to feel this. It's not true. i got to live my life. I can't have this distraction. I'm over here. This is my plan. This is what's logical. This is what i got to do. I can't be distracted by all this fluff on the side, right? And it's like now it's kind of like, okay, this 
divine is helping them to take the shield off. They're burning the shield away. The shield is being burned away. And, you know, they're starting to feel this real connection. The other thing that they're starting to recognize and feel, if you notice, this guy has two flames. So they're starting to recognize that this is, you know, the twin flame connection. They're starting to recognize because they're getting the synchronicities. They're feeling the heart activations. Um, they're getting songs. They're getting messages. They're just, things are kind of coming at them in their face. And they are feeling this in their heart. Um, they're feeling the burning desire in their heart. They're feeling the energy in their heart and the connection um, and heart activations. Um, but they're also feeling that, you know what, this is a divine, you know, connection and a twin flame connection. Um, so that is their heart space. And the message for Mother Mary for the masculines is Our Lady of Blessing Bestowed. So I'm going to read for you card number 26. Our Lady of Blessing Bestowed. I'm offering you a spiritual gift now. The gift of heavenly blessing. The blessing may come through a person, a place, or thing or spring forth from within your own heart, unfolding like a blossoming rose. I ask that you trust me because in receiving this blessing, things will change. The change changes are shedding of that which would hold you back from fully receiving my blessing. My blessing asks you to have trust and courage as I help you leap into your divine fulfillment more swiftly than you could do on your own. A blessing sounds like a marvelous happening and it is. However, we can forget the divine energy. That divine energy, which is concentrated like spiritual vitamins, will cause healing, and this may move circumstances and situations along, often at a rapid pace. A blessing is like a divine volcanic eruption from within our heart. It can start with a rumble, but when the time is right, we are ignited and cannot be held back from an explosion of divine love that might change everything that is in the way of our next heavenly steps upon earth. And holy cow, that totally reminded in reminded me in the channeled message of about them being ready to explode out of the gate. I was like, whoa, that's like what I channeled. So it was kind of cool. Um, Rest assured that a blessing from Holy Mother is only given when we can handle it, though you cannot also expect that there will be times as a blessing begins its work when you may wonder if you are really up to what you feel is being asked of you. You may doubt yourself at times, questioning if you can really handle what is happening in your life without falling apart completely. You may succeed, and you know, the masculine, the doubt, well, we both doubt, but the masculines are you know overall tend to be a little bit more in their head and are lo have logic and and um doubt things you know doubt things a little bit more you will succeed through the holy mother's grace of course but sometimes you might wonder if you aren't just cracking up inside to be broken apart never to be repaired this is a sign which is like a tower moment right um or death the death card in tarot that to have a new beginning, you have to break things down completely. And that's what the message in the tower card is. In order for something, you know, if a house burns, you have to totally let it burn. Um, you can't rebuild it. You know, you can, you have to rebuild it from scratch. You can't, you know, unless it's one little corner kind of thing. But anyway, um, this is a sign that we are really growing and especially outgrowing past a past that is too small for our soul's future. With all this challenge, we might ask ourselves if we really want a blessing at all. However, a blessing is an absolute priceless treasure. It clears karmic debris that would keep us stuck, perhaps for a long time or even lifetimes. A blessing not only rips off a band-aid, but it is a zap of healing energy that may uncomfortably for a relatively short time, it may be feel uncomfortable for a relatively short time, but it is essentially just the workings of life force restoring uh, a wound to wellness. Um, we might outgrow some relationships or life situations as this happens. Other relationships or life situations will be able to bear the change and come with us. Either way, a blessing speeds up and intensifies this process and helps us accomplish in a short time uh, what may be taken much more effort over a longer period. It is a helping 
hand up to our next level of awareness and embodied consciousness by the divine. Although given freely, the grace of the blessing is that it happens um, at the right time, not a moment too soon or too late. The oracle coming to you is because it, the time is right for you and the blessing is being offered to you now, whether you understand its ultimate purpose or not. We don't have to know that a blessing is happening for it to work its magic, though, of course, it's nice to know. Um, so basically, and it goes on just a little bit more um, with a healing affirmation. Um, her stuff is kind of lengthy, but beautiful. So basically, it's they're being guided. The masculines are being guided. Um, that they're going to be getting blessings. They're getting synchronicities. They're getting messages. They're getting help. Um, for their journey and also being guided to let go of things that are too small that they've outgrown, including relationships, which completely goes, you know, with the first few cards of freeing yourself and releasing. So that's all the masculines. Um, and that's, you know, pretty clear and profound. The feminines I also love. I'm going to grab the feminines cards here and this totally resonated with me and I think it will with all of the feminines that I know personally. Okay, finances and career is the card that came up for the feminines headspace. Um, and this says financial issues are a factor in your love life now. Um, and I think really just of all the feminines that I know that we're, a lot of us have shifted and a lot of feminines are shifting careers and into mission um, and are really building new businesses, building practices. Um, and some are, are easing their way out of jobs. Some have left jobs completely or thinking of leaving a job completely, but they're really stepping into mission and they're really, you know, starting to create. It, they've had the ideas and now they're really creating. And they're really looking at their, their foundations, at their finances, at how can I, you know, um, support myself financially and they really want that independence and they want to be able to have the financial uh, freedom and abundance and security on their own um, and really get things going um, because that, and that's really their focus and the card that came with it is perfect it's the community card and in this card is all about like um, networking and friends and getting together socially um, just a real connection and the, the feminines, it's been a really tough journey and it's been really difficult with not really having communication from, you know, the masculines, um, or with mixed messages or whatever it is that they're going through. Um, and the feminines have just been frustrated and just kind of wanting to, you know, walk away from this. Um, and it's really up and down. There's days where, you know, the fem you know, myself included and the feminines, I know everybody's like really up and I'm like, yeah, I'm trusting this. This is what I want and I believe in it. And there's other days where it's like, oh man, he's never going to come around. This is never going to work. And there's doubt and I'm done. I'm over. Give me, you know, please send me somebody else. And, um, they're just really reaching out to their friends and their community for support. And we're, the feminines are really relying on, upon each other in a really good way, in a really healthy way, and um, just supporting one another and just holding space. Um, the other message in this card is that we're, feminines are networking. You know, they're, they're out there in the community um, networking, talking to people, and building a tribe, building a soul tribe, and doing things to build their business. So they're really networking with people who can help them that are like-minded, people that can support them, people that can give them ideas, or maybe mentors or teachers. So they're really out there in the community, and that is just, I love it. Amazing card. Okay, Divine Feminine, Heart Space. Okay, two cards popped up from this deck, the Flirt. And oops, getting to know each other um, card came up. And this says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you your bond deepens. So the feminines really want the masculines to reach out to them. They really, you know, when the masculines are ready, um, they really want to just talk and have fun and flirt and 
they want it to be lighthearted. You know, there's been so much heaviness and, and um, challenge and pain and drama and all uncertainty. And whenever the masculines do reach out, you know, they just they just want it to be light. They want it to be fun. They want it to have more of a childlike nature. Um, they want to flirt. They, you know, they just, they want it to be lighthearted. You know, it doesn't have to be all heavy, serious, dra dramatic type communication. It's just, you know what, let's just hang out. Let's just communicate. Let's just keep it light and they, and let's get to know each other. Let's share, you know, tell me what's in your, in your heart. Tell me what's on your mind. Tell me how you feel. Um, I'm not going to judge you. You know, we just, we just want to communicate and open lines of communication and we're going to hold space and you know, we're, we're not going to bite your head off. We're not going to, um, you know, we're not judging you We're we're sending unconditional love, um, no matter what's happened in the past. And we're just going to hold that space. Um, what came up for the feminines, um, in the other deck is indecision in reverse and I'm going to turn it upside down just so you can see. Um, so there's two paths and she's looking at these two paths and this came up in reverse. Um, and the message in this card was basically that she knows the feminine knows what she wants. Um, and she's ready to step forward on her path and she knows what she wants in her heart. Um, she knows um, the type of relationship she wants. She knows what, um, she'll, she won't settle for anything less. Um, and she's very clear. She's very clear in her heart, what she wants and how she feels. Um, she's very clear about moving forward. She really wants to move forward both in relationship and on her mission. Um, and she's really ready to, to move forward, but she, this is really like, you know what? I have clarity. I know what I want. I know what I feel. Um, and yeah, so that's basically the message. I think I'm trying to remember if there was anything else that came through in the book on that one in particular. Um, okay. So in the book in particular, I'll just read it cause I'm being guided to read it. It says, congratulations. This card reversed indicates newfound freedom from indecision. You have either recently made or just about to make an important decision. This is an important time, so bring clarity of consciousness to your new direction. The fragmented and confused energy that you've been sending out is gone, and now you can bring new structure to your plans and your life. You may not have known what to do in the past, but your soul has been trying to guide you all along. Open up to the potential of this time and create some clear and powerful intentions regarding your new choice. Then let yourself move forward with purpose and personal power. Okay. I knew there's a reason I needed to say that and that's intention. Um, I know with some of my other divine feminine, um, um, friends and that out there, um, we talk a lot about intention work and there's, and just in the community, twin flame community, there's a lot of talk about intention work and a lot of divine feminines have really come into a place of unconditional love for their masculines and giving them the space and trusting the timing, but also doing intention work. Um, doing a lot of work in the 5D, um, setting intentions for what the feminine wants for career, abundance, family, home, health, mission, um, the future, you know, vision boards. And that's something I actually want to do myself, but I know um, I have friends out there that are, have done vision boards and they are really powerful. So the feminine really does a lot of visualizing, um, a lot of setting of intentions, um, a lot of prayer. There's a lot of prayer going on, um, and meditation and manifestation, like, and affirmations, like let's, we're really, really stepping into our power to manifest the future that we want. And, and that includes in our heart, our divine masculine, because our divine masculine lives in our heart, no matter. Okay. No matter they're here. Um, and they're really, and this is also about stepping into personal power. And, and if you're not there yet, then this card is asking you to let go of the confusion. And that message I got on my own reading the other day was stop being so wishy-washy. You know, the universe is like, would you just be consistent? Because, you know, one day or one week you're saying, I want a soulmate. I'm done. I'm over. I'm walking away. And then the next you're like, oh my gosh, I love my masculine. And, you know, um, I will wait for him and I don't want anybody else. And, and you know, 
divine, please, you know, help me help this union to manifest. And the universe doesn't know. It's a law of attraction. The universe doesn't know what to give you. And you're going to get mixed messages because you're sending mixed messages. And there's going to be things that are jumbled. So you have to trust in yourself, trust in divine, trust in what you want, know what you want in your heart. And, you know, if this connection is not something that you want, that's okay. You know, that's okay. But be clear on what you want and be consistent. And a lot of times it's better just to ask for whatever is in my highest and greatest good. Um, whatever relationship, whatever job, whatever place to live is in my greatest and highest good. Um, instead of being specific and, de and defining it, you know, the divine wants us to be clear but leave wiggle room because if we close ourselves off to possibly other um, gifts that divine has for us, we might miss those gifts. So it's good to kind of leave it a little bit open for divine. Um, so if you're not clear, get clear. Um, but for the most part, I think feminines are. Okay, the um, Mother Mary card that came out for feminines is Our Lady of Becoming. And these cards, oh my gosh, these cards are beautiful. I love them. So card number three, um, my beloved child, you are a divine flower preparing to bloom. You belong in the divine garden and you will blossom into radiance. I have declared it and it will be so. You shall thrive and be nourished into life. Your uniqueness and beauty shall not be hidden from the world obscured by veils of fear and shame. I am the holy hand unveiling your secret light that it may pour forth the grace that heals the world. This is your destiny and it will be. You may have a sense that deep within you there is so much more than what appears to be on the surface, so much more than what others can see. Even if you consider yourself an open book, so to speak, you may sense that within there is something more um, of you yet to be. It may be a role that you are yet to fulfill, perhaps that of a lover, a spouse, or a parent, or even a teacher or healer. It may be a talent that you sense within that you have not fully developed yet for any number of reasons. It might even be a feeling that you are meant to live or work in another country. It may be that you sense that you are to meet your soul tribe in the flesh this lifetime, that community in which you feel you truly belong, where you are loved and accepted just as you are. It might even be that you sense held within you a version of yourself that is more confident, expressive, honest, without shame, lovingly accepting and wise. This oracle comes to you with a message of grace and divine blessing from Mother Mary, that which you sense within that unfolding destiny of which you dream will be. Yes, beloved, it is time to believe, to act with a sense of inevitability rather than hopeful fantasy. This is not a time to hold back and compromise on what is possible, but to surrender to the how to the divine. Surrender the how to the divine. I repeat that. Surrender the how to the divine. Uh, Mother Mary, and allow her to assist you in becoming what you are deep within. No matter whether you feel this becoming is spiritual or mundane, anything that fills, fulfills your heart is important for your own soul destiny, whether it is seemingly obviously spiritual in nature or not. For Mother Mary to support you most easily into becoming your fullness, you are going to have to trust yourself, something even more above the messages or opinions of your loved ones, well-meaning as they may be. This doesn't mean that you cannot seek advice or get help. On the contrary, Mother Mary will often nudge you towards those who can assist you, but you will know whether another is helping you find your own light or attempting to have you follow the light, their light instead. In the latter, you are not perhaps learning a valuable lesson, but in time you must come back to your own inner light, for no one else can be the unique expression of the divine that you are. No one can live your destiny for you. You have a role and a purpose upon this earth that cannot be replaced. We all must become what we are, are as fully and completely as our own 
Kinder. Mother Mary asks that we are that we call upon her to become all that we are, even through her grace and guidance. Um, she says she asks you to surrender her concerns to her and trust. And yeah, so that's pretty much the rest of it. Um, yeah, so just trust and surrender and follow her nudges. Uh, follow the people that she leads you to. Um, and I love what it says about releasing shame and, and, and all that because I think a lot of feminines, we've struggled to step into our power and our skills and our gifts and have fear of putting them out there because a lot of us in past lifetimes have been persecuted and we're clearing the karma of that persecution. And to fully clear that karma, we all have to step into our divine grace, speak our truth, put ourselves out there, ask for guidance, um, seek help and mentorship and t uh, other teachers and really just become all that you are meant to be without any shame. Okay, last but not least, final outcome. I'm gonna take a sip of water, cause holy cow. Hmm. Okay, all that reading and my throat chakra. Oh my gosh, I've got water dripping down. <laughs> um, my throat chakra has really been activating this week, so if my throat voice is a little rough. Final outcome, three cards, well, two cards, and then Mother Mary had one other one. We have, oh my gosh, wedding and true love. So, couldn't have picked two better cards to come out. I swear to God, these blew out of the deck. I did not, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I did not um, pull you out. This is kind of how it came out. Um, the wedding card says the situation involves marriage, um, and that also means commitment. So final outcome down the road, whenever that may be in divine timing is, you know, that this will be a committed relationship for you. There will be, um, a level of commitment that may or may not involve marriage. You know, templates are changing for how we define relationships. So you be open to a committed relationship that maybe doesn't involve a traditional, you know, marriage. Um, it's kind of whatever resonates with you and your partner. It's different for everybody, but the overall, the message is, you know, that, um, there's going to be a, a level of commitment in this relationship. The true love, um, that yes, this is your true love. Um, this is your ultimate divine partner. This is your ultimate romance. This is your ultimate lover, partner, life partner, um, everything. Okay. This person is your ultimate. So whoever is watching this, you know, um, that's, that this message is for you, um, that this is, you know, and take whatever resonates with you, of course, as any other reading, um, take what resonates with you, but this is your true love. And the other message that blew up, um, worth waiting for. So Mother Mary really wanted to hone in that this is your true love. This really is your true love and it is worth waiting for. Don't give up. Don't run away from it. Um, do your thing. Focus on you. Focus on your mission. Focus on your community building. Focus on your finances and career. Um, have some fun in your life. Um, get clear with what you want and do your intention setting. Um, but, you know, this relationship will be worth waiting for. And, you know, some of the song messages that I've had that come through are... Um, one was sent to a friend of mine for me, actually. It was, baby, hold on. Just a little bit longer. Just a little longer. Baby, hold on. And and it's like you, any of you guys that get song messages and songs, it's like, oh, my gosh, you just want to cry when you hear those songs. Okay. Almost done. The final outcome cards for the energy deck. I got the anxiety card in reverse, which is good because I think myself included, we have all gone through a lot of emotional ups and downs. It's been an emotional roller coaster. It's been really difficult. We've gone through a purging or dark nights of the soul. We've gone through, the feminines have gone through a lot. A lot of it's been pretty hellish. And for some people, this journey has been really, really long. Um, and, you know, for others, not quite so long. Um, but 
the anxiety card upside down basically just means that, you know, this is going to be a thing of the past. You're, you're letting go of fears, you're letting go of anxieties, you're letting go of attachments, um, and you're not going to have this in the future. So you're basically going to, this anxiety is going to be behind you and you're going to have security, peace and harmony, um, happiness, contentment, um, and trust. You're really going to be in a state of trust in the future. Um, the other card that came up is the sun, which very similar to tarot, the message is about abundance, new beginnings, um, happiness, joy, harmony. So to me, this card kind of summed up instead of getting like, say, the partnership card or the happily ever after card or an abundance card, it kind of sums up all of those cards in one. All of those messages kind of come out through this one card and it's just, it's a beautiful card. Um, the sun is a masculine energy, right? So, and she's in a pool of water. It's like a cup. It's kind of like an ace of cups in a sense. Um, if you want to imagine ace of cups and ace of cups in tarot is all about um, love and new beginning and emotions over 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 swelling of you know emotion overflowing emotion um but the sun is this card is about new beginnings um and abundance and that your connection is really going to bring love new beginnings abundance joy harmony um the sun brings life to things it brings warmth to things it brings life um, you're going to create together in your in your partnership and the other message that came through was patience which kind of goes along with the worth waiting for card right so how perfect those cards came out together I love how this works um, and these cards were just flying out of the deck too so the patience card if you notice me hold it up it's she looks like an ice queen it's actually a really beautiful card um, she looks like an ice queen um, it's snowy, it's winter, she's holding a clock, and she's just kind of standing there um, patiently. She doesn't look anxious, she doesn't look worried, um, and it's an angel, and the angels are guiding us, but she is, um, you know, it's winter, and, and I asked Mother Mary earlier when I was doing the reading and channeling, and some of the unions are going to take place in fall and some of them are going to be into the winter months. So, you know, if it, there's a lot of hype right now, if it doesn't happen next month or the month after, be patient because it's coming, um, winter months, um, and just trust. And then for the final outcome from Mother Mary, and this is perfect too, Our Lady of Ripening Fruit. Uh, on the vine and this one I'm not even going to read from the book she said to do this one intuitively and if you look there's a bird's nest with robin's eggs there's fruit on the vine there's a dove it's a lot of messages here so the dove is about um, spirituality and spirit you know that this is a spiritual connection spirit is guiding us this is your spiritual truth this relationship this connection is your spiritual truth um, the the nest um, and the eggs, the, the robin's eggs, the little blue eggs in the nest, you know, that is about life and life about to unfold. Um, things about to crack open, things that are about to burst open um, and come to life. New beginnings, um, babies, um, the beginning of life. So it's the beginning of life, right? Life is going to begin. And there's fruit and there's two pears. And, you know, it's it's basically like this partnership, this union, this connection, divine union, the seeds have been planted for thousands of years, right? I mean, we go back way, way back. And in this lifetime, you know, however long you've, it's been since you've met with your counterpart, um, you know, even through the times that have been really difficult, um, it's been growing. And, you know, you can't, when you plant a tree, it takes time to mature and it takes time for it to bear fruit. And you can't go, you know, bearing, you know, pulling the apple off the tree too soon because it's just not, it's not going to taste good. It, and, and, you know, it's going to be very bitter. 
you want it to be juicy and fruit and sweet, right? You want that fruit to be lush, juicy, and you don't want it to be over ripened. You want to pick it when it's just right. You don't want it to fall on the ground and rot and say, dang, I should have picked that last week. Um, you know, it's opportunities, it's timing, it's about timing, and it's basically fruition. And I think I believe I use the word fruition, come to fruition. Hi guys, okay, I had to jump back um, the video. I'm a newbie at this, I'm a rookie, so uh, my movie maker only goes to an hour and I hit the hour mark, so my apologies, I will learn to keep these under an hour or um, how to fix this. So I'm almost done with this reading and I was leaving off with a message of fruition in the final Mother Mary card, um, Our Lady of Ripening on the Vine, and I was pretty much done with that message. Um, about everything coming to fruition and um, so I'm just recording the last little bit the only last little bit that's left is the um, cards from the whispers of love deck and the cards I got um, the message from divine masculine from the divine feminine love makes all the difference and these cards are absolutely gorgeous um, love makes all the difference um, love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security self-worth and importance um, so the masculines know that there's been a lot of pain and heartache um, a lot of challenges and they want to know the feminines to know that they want to heal the connection they want to heal it with love they want to heal all the wrongs, all the past, um, and kind of leave the past in the back, in the past, leave the past in the past, and just move forward with a new heal um, sense of healing. Um, and that you know we can heal. Love can heal anything. Love cures anything, right? And there's a lot of power in love. Um, and in, in the book, it just says that love is strong and can endure anything. If you trust love, everything else will fall into place. If there are challenges, it is important that you allow your heart to remain open. So just allow for the healing. Be receptive. Don't be blocked off. If they, you know, just have the energy of having an open heart to receive the healing, to receive the love, and allow their love to heal. Um, don't judge. Let go of the past. Um, and allow their love to come in and heal you and to heal the connection um, and your love can help heal them as well um, because it's everybody's going through a lot of challenges right now um, no one is absent of that the messages from the feminine to the masculine were two cards popped up choose love and that's beautiful it's like she's got her eyes closed and then there's all these images um, of many different things like just a lot of she's just thinking of the past thinking of people thinking of situations thinking of good times and bad times and you know she's just really looking and examining and wanting the masculine to look and examine look at everything and examine everything and choose you know relationships situations um, activities you know out of love um, you always have the choice as to what you should do when you choose love negative feelings will have no place in your heart there is always a choice telling and retelling a negative situation will not heal it surround the situation with love choose to see a responsibility and focus on love so it's kind of a double message um, the feminines you know are really letting go of the negative thoughts the negative um, self-talk, um, replaying the past in their in their mind, and um, anything that was hurtful or negative, and just choosing to love everything uh, with unconditional love and doing a lot of forgiveness work. Um, so the feminines are really doing a lot of forgiveness work and wanting their masculines to know that, um, and that you know yes, there's been good good and bad times in the past, and let's just very similar to the other message, let's just leave that behind, let's choose love, let's move forward with love, um, and heal this connection, heal these memories, heal the past, um, let go of any any kind of negativity that was there. So 
masculines and feminines both have a very similar message to each other and the other that came up from the feminine to the masculine is spiritual connection um that this relationship um beautiful cards it says this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime so it's basically just telling the masculines that you know what this relationship is different than anything else um it's got a spiritual connection and that is the purpose of the connection it's first and foremost mission is the number one most important thing for twin flames and we have to always remember that that we're here for mission and we're here to teach the world about love and we're here to teach the world um how to you know how to be in the 5d world in the future uh and whatever each individual mission is but they're all love-based right um, so it's basically that this is a spiritual connection and there's really nothing that can compare to it. And the approach to the relationship should be spiritual. It doesn't come from the lower chakras and the, you know, the physical, the, the desire for intimacy and all that. Yes, that's there, but it starts from the higher chakras and it works its way down, right? So it starts as a spiritual connection and bond and it works its way down, um, and develops through to the you know, the more lower chakras in the heart and the intimacy and all that. Um, it doesn't, it's not like old 3D relationships that kind of start with more of the physical attraction and work their way up and you develop the spiritual connection. This starts with the spirit, spiritual connection and then works its way down. Very, very opposite of any other relationship. Message from Mother Mary. Um, these are the incredible cards. So three of them came up. Um, miracles and blessings. So Mother Mary wants you to know that everything has a gift and miracles and blessings will be coming to this union, will be coming to each one of you. Um, there's a lot of guidance and the other card that came up was, it just says be supportive and that's a beautiful card too and it's an angel. Um, and yeah, there's an angel and it's beautiful. It says, make a genuine effort to show you care. So divine, both of these cards are basically that, you know what, divine, just like the message I channeled and I love how this is so consistent. Divine has their hand in this in a huge, huge way. Trust. Miracles and blessings are coming. Um, things are coming trust in divine the angels are around the angels are supporting this union the angels are with us at all times and the family and karmics and everybody everybody supported and there's no judgment against karmics there's no judgment against anybody um everybody is playing a role and is just equally as important to the next person um it's very supportive. The families are very supportive by the angels. Um, and be supportive to each other. Um, be supportive of the masculine. Masculines, be supportive of the feminines. Everybody's gone through a lot. And just support where each person is on their journey and don't judge them. Um, some are, you know, a little... Everybody's at a different point in time on their journey. And just don't, don't judge it and be supportive of their choices and don't judge, accept, be accepting of where they are. And there's usually going to be one that's going to be a lot more advanced spiritually than the other. So if you're the more advanced one, don't judge, you know, the other for, um, not being where you are. They're, they're hold space for them. They're, they have a purpose still in your life. If they're not necessarily meant to be way up at the same level that you are so just be supportive and accept them for who they are and where and where they're at um and the final card was the union card union of hearts that's incredible beautiful card um there is a connection of love that defies explanation yeah so the union card came up as a last card um from mother mary as a message for everybody so this reading is just you know just to wrap that up with the union card I, I i don't even know what to say it's just incredible um and the support that the angels have for us it's just it's beautiful i mean it's magical it's beautiful um and blessings and miracles are coming as difficult as it's been however long your journey's been just know that 
there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that you're supportive. Trust, hold faith, have faith, hold love, unconditional love, forgiveness, be soft in your heart, um, and keep focusing on what you need to do for yourself at the same time. So I'm wrapping it up and um, hopefully when I splice these two bits together, it'll all work out. And thank you everybody for being here to uh, with uh, Magdalene's Wish. And um, please like and comment. Uh, I'd like to hear your feedback and your thoughts. And I know this was kind of lengthy, so thank you for sticking with me. Um, I tried to ask Mother Mary about shortening this up, and she was like, no, 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 no. This is, you know, she really guided me on all of this reading. So um, with all due respect to Mother Mary, we... Um, all really really thank her for her guidance and her love and her presence and I really feel it and um, she just wishes all the best and love to everybody and her energy is infused in this video too for everybody out there so many blessings and namaste everybody bye bye